On big weather days, you're not only fighting with the oars to propel the boat forwards, you're fighting with the oars to keep the boat under control. In calmer conditions where you can get both blades in the water at the same time, you can start sculling properly. You can bring your legs into full play, which makes your rowing stroke much more efficient. The only downside to this is that even at a modest stroke rate, you can end up doing the equivalent of 18 to 22,000 squats in a day. Add to this that the wind drops and the temperature usually rises in calmer conditions, and it makes for a different kind of tough going. Okay, day 29. A lot better than yesterday. Got up early this morning to try and catch up on yesterday's missed mileage. Didn't really need to. Once I got thinking about it, I started thinking about improving different things yesterday. I'd done the oars and the oar gates. So I started looking at my stroke and I'd got quite lazy in a few areas. So I fixed all those imbalances. I don't know, in, in laziness is what I fixed basically. My legs had gone wonky. I wasn't put in the square. Wasn't getting both, both oars in the water when I could. All that kind of stuff. So I fixed all that. And lo and behold, I did 10 miles in my three hours. Didn't need any extra time. And, and turned yesterday into just a third of a mile short of 50 miles. So can't complain about that. And then the rest of the day went really well. I've done 30 miles by 8 o'clock. So I'm kind of back on track and on less, less hours as well. I changed my brake pattern and everything changed today. So, so it was a really good day. I'm going to open Georgie's first and try not to cry. Don't worry, messages. Don't worry. I will not let Libby and Mum buy a dog while you're away. Well done, Georgie. Don't worry, my science fair will be finished on time and turn out great. Don't worry, I will run three times a week and get out of bed at the correct time on Sunday. Don't worry, even when it's cold, I will find pants that fit and go running. I will love it. Don't forget messages. Don't forget, whenever you go to clean the boat in the water, spray shark repellent, look for fish, especially big ones, and buckle yourself to the boat. I will promise to do that, Georgie. Don't forget not to eat all your chocolate at once. Don't forget to shave your beard. Don't forget never go out in lightning. Even if you want to, call me first. Even in the middle of the night, I don't want you to get struck by lightning. Don't forget I love you. Georgie, this is brilliant. Please be careful. I don't want you crashing into North Point. Just do whatever you can to be safe, even if it means to get towed or flown back to land. Well, I would do that, Georgie, because I wouldn't want to be without you guys. I just want you to know that I love you, and I really don't want you to die. <laughs> I'm not going to die. You're too young to die, seriously. Please, 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 be careful and safe. Do not do any stupid things. Do not swim with the wild dolphins or whales. You do not know what they could do to you. No ifs, ands, or buts. Lots of much, Georgie. I love you with all my heart. I love you with all my heart, too, Georgie. Okay, that, my friends, halfway across my journey across the Atlantic. So, this is what halfway looks like outside. Pretty calm again today, which is frustrating. That's our time. And you see the temperature there is 44.5 degrees. That's just dropped from 46 because the sun went behind the cloud. I'm sat out in, in 46 degrees, sweating my watts it's off. All right, that's it. Halfway, party time over. I can only spare two minutes, so I've got to get back on the oars to finish off my three o'clock session. Okay, day 30. <coughs> A couple of miles short where I'd really like to be, but considering how I started today, I'm quite happy with 28 miles. Um, sea's been really strange today. This morning it was very... It's not, it wasn't big, but it was choppy and grabbing at the oars and just... It was all over the shop, so it was hard to get any rhythm. Frustrating. Second session, I didn't feel so good. Um, ended up taking some jitter beans, which 15 minutes later I felt great. I love them. Yeah, this afternoon things kind of came together a bit. 46 degrees. Halfway, so we're now on the downhill side, 13.38 I reckon was halfway, and we're now at 13.22, so maybe only 26 days, 26 and a half days left, I'm not sure. Let's see, get up in the morning, knock off that 22, 13 and a 9, leaves us 26 days at 50 miles a day. That gets me in on the 15th of January, which would be mind-blowing, 50-something days, so less than 60 days would be brilliant.
this is kind of typical of our sunrises every morning <clears throat> they're quite spectacular there's always some cloud about and the sun streams through the clouds it's very impressive most mornings very impressive and you just know it's going to get hot 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 as soon as it gets above those clouds we're in the 40s on the on the boat well, lunch time on, um, on christmas eve and it is time to go in the water i got my scraper i've got to scrape the bottom of the boat Secondary shark repellent, just in case. And my shark repellent. Here we go. So, tear open the foil bag, tie it in a bag to person, squeezing water, produce dense black cloud. Remain in centre of cloud. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be one good to me, but there we go. We should see. Okay, so I'm going over. And, uh, if you don't see me again and you find this video, you know what happened. I've done it, it was scary as heck and I won't be doing it again because the bottom of the boat is clean I'm covered in uh, anti-foul paint and uh, need to get cleaned up and there the boat's moving quite quickly actually at about a knot and a half so you're kind of being dragged along as you go um, kind of strange sensation incredible down there though, absolutely incredible like crystal blue you can see what well, it seems like you can see for miles into the, uh, into the water but obviously you can't Anyway, I've been in. Wet and blue just to prove it. I don't know if you can hear, but there's a massive rainstorm outside, and I just made it inside. I just finished my robe, had a shave, brushed my teeth, and had my flannel bath. Got in just as it started tipping it down. It's also pushing us along at between two and a half and three and a half knots out. Four point three knots. <laughs> That's a mind-boggling speed. Um, I just found out that the GoPro, this camera, doesn't work very well in the cabin at night. <coughs> it's just very gloomy and uh, cabin lights seem to disturb it. So anyway, 23rd of December, day before Christmas Eve, weather was coming from the southeast. Really, really hard day. The weather was cutting across us all day, making it difficult to get any, um, any ground. I thought I'd have an atrocious day at 37 miles. Turns out that all the guys in the race um, all did worse than me again, so uh, what can you say? It's just hard work. If the weather's not in your favour, you've just got to plug on. 37 miles is 37 miles, it's all a bit closer, a bit disappointing. It keeps putting back and putting back the, the date, so every 10 miles short I am of 50, every five days adds another day onto the trip. Um, Christmas Eve, so after a really bad day. Um, I was expecting the same the day before, I was expecting the same yesterday and there was wind from the southeast. it was pushing across but in, in little little spots where to go really bumpy and be very hard work but in between there was enough enough movement in the, in the general um, northeasterly swell to actually get some decent miles in. Last night at 9 o'clock I'd actually gone over 30 miles now I've, every time I've gone over 30 miles um, I've got a 50 the, the morning after, a little bit of drift at night, 50. Just as I was uh, packing up last night, stowing the oars, had a shave, although I seem to have missed, but because I was in a rush, this big storm was coming in, bucketed it down with rain for about 20 minutes, and then went quiet. Went about, did my normal things, my blog and other bits and pieces. We were drifting in the right direction, the wind was coming from kind of the right direction, so we it all looked good. 2 o'clock this morning, the storm blew up again, absolutely massive, lightning, it was like, like the middle of the, it was brighter than the middle of the day, lightning everywhere, um, tons and tons of rain, and the wind was coming right out of the south. I'd been awake for a little while, I must have dozed off, when I woke up we'd already drifted um, three miles to the, to the north, so I was pondering what to do, do we just see if the wind changes on its own, or... Tony had said don't worry about drifting a bit to the west northwest and I was drifting straight north. So ended up after about 45 minutes of losing another three miles sticking the um, sticking the sea anchor out and because um, I just didn't want to go straight north, it just didn't make sense. So I put the sea anchor out. Interesting thing when I put the sea anchor out, two um, flying fish smashed into the front of the boat. They jumped out, they were flying along and just oof, like a bird hitting the window in your house. They just smashed right into the um, smashed right into the boat and fell back into the water, stunned. <laughs> so I guess they made dinner for some bigger fish. Um, we'll see anchor out about an hour and a half 
later. I'm absolutely pooped by this time because I've only had two hours sleep on top of a bad night's sleep last night and virtually none the night before. Absolutely shattered. So, um, wind had died completely down, took the sea anchor in, tried to get it to drift in the right, thought I'd try and get a little bit of drift before I started my pre-breakfast thing. And uh, we were still being tugged north. Started a little bit late because I was really struggling to get myself going this morning. I was absolutely shattered. I kept saying just 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I think I think I'm probably made about 43 or 44 miles. I've not heard yet. I might have rode further than that, but um, that's all I made good. Okay, so that was Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. I've got to say Merry Christmas to Cheryl and the girls. I kind of wish I was at home a bit, I guess. <coughs> Although, I kind of knew that I was going to be away at Christmas, so it's stupid, really. But, um, but I do miss them. <coughs> right, set off doing this morning. <coughs> set off doing this morning. And, um, oh, the, everything's coming from the south, it's pushing us north. <coughs> you can see the boat rocking at the moment, it's rocking north-south, which means that's where there could have been swells coming from, everything north and south. There was just a little flicker before I stopped for breakfast of um, being able to get some, a few miles in at least, but I think this could quite easily be, I just had a weather forecast from Tony, this could quite easily be the worst day yet for mileage, but I'm going to plug on anyway. Got yesterday's sent me yesterday's results and I was better than all the boats in the race again, apart from the four um, who did point one of a mile more than me. So I'm I'm obviously competing quite. Although I'm not in the race and I'm not competing, I am I'm giving them a run for the money. Is is what I'm doing, and I, I think what it is is that my running background. Um, you know, when it gets tough, you just got to keep going. So, um, that's it. This is Christmas Day, and as you can see, the wind is coming, it's coming right from the bloody north. It's supposed to be coming from the southeast. One more test is what that is. Okay, it's Christmas, Christmas Day lunchtime. What a morning. <laughs> that was really, really hard work. This swell is slowly easing up a bit from the south though, and everything is flattening out. But there isn't a breath of wind, the sun's been hidden behind the clouds all day and it's really humid. <coughs> hard work, hard work. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to call the girls and Cheryl in a minute for Christmas, say Merry Christmas. But first, and I need to get something to eat obviously, and then I've got some cards I want to open before I actually call them. But first I want to get rid of this god awful shave that I uh, attempted to have last night in the dark. In my defence the boat was bobbing all over and that big storm was coming so I'm going to do that. I'll put some cards and then give the girls a call. Now I'm going to try and do these cards out here because it's too hot in the cabin. And the camera obviously doesn't work very well at night as I found out yesterday. Okay so this one says to Dad, Merry Christmas, you will love the card. I told Santa you've been staying out of trouble and you've been very good all year. You know what he said? <laughs> oh, this is from Georgie. To Dad, Merry Christmas. Thanks for all the gifts. I don't know what they are yet, but I'm sure they will be good. Do a Merry Christmas. Love, Georgie. Hope you enjoyed the card. <laughs> very good, Georgie. I love him. I love him. To Daddy. This must be from Superlibs. Everything jolly, everything merry, everything happy and bright. <laughs> of the year. To Daddy. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Loads of love, Libby. The holidays are here. It's your duty. <laughs> To shake your booty. Have a blast. <laughs> John, hope things are going. Stop! Stop! Um, hope things are going well. You have the girls' permission 
to do the daddy dance out at sea <laughs> to this card. Merry Christmas, lots of love. And then I'm not doing the daddy dance. It's just no use because it doesn't embarrass them. So this is um, Christmas Day evening. It is 20 past 8. I've just stopped for a couple of minutes to let my uh, let the circulation back into my bottom. This is the night after the big storm. See the, the, the sky looks quite nice. The winds turned round a bit into the kind of northeast, maybe north northeast. So we should um, we should be able to get some kind of decent drift tonight. Hopefully the red sky means it'll be a nice day tomorrow and we can get back to normal. Make another 50 maybe tomorrow. I don't think there's much chance of that over this 24 hours. <coughs> Only just done over 20 today, which is uh, two thirds of what we'd normally do. So there you go, Christmas Day in the workhouse. The rain was snowing fast. I'm the barefooted boy. That's for sure. What a day it's been. All the emotion of Christmas over and done with. Counting down to a thousand miles to go. Barbados is getting closer and closer. Could this massive challenge be as easy as it seems?